Hey everybody, Josh KI6NAZ. I am back with another Willet antenna video. And today, paper clips. Let's see how it works out. So why would you want to make an antenna out of anything? Well, because you have it on hand and it's fun. I made a video on a kit that you can build to make an antenna just about out of anything as long as it's some kind of ferrous metal. I've uh, used lawn chairs. I've used the uh, magic uh, <laughs> extendable magician's baton. So today we're gonna do something simple. At least I think it's gonna be simple. Paper clips, these are about two inches long. So we should be able to just take the frequency of operation, which likely will be like FT8 or something like that. And uh, we'll just back that off using a calculator to figure out how many inches I need for a vertical antenna. And I'll build one or two radial legs to go along with it. So I've been asked, why do I use 20 meters so often in the antenna build videos? That's really because there's just a lot of people on 20 meters. It seems to be the most popular band during the day with the most amount of openings. So if you're thinking about building an antenna, I generally say 20 meters and maybe 40 meters is a good option. All right, so the first thing to do is let's uh, figure out how long this is gonna be. So I used a simple online calculator. I'll put the formula below here, but I'll post a link as well to the calculator. So we're gonna make a quarter wave vertical, meaning the vertical part of the antenna, which people think of as an antenna, is gonna be one quarter wave on 14.074 megahertz. And that roughly works out to 16 feet, seven inches. So converted um, the feet into inches, gets you about 200 inches. And then you got a leftover of 7.5 inches. So divide that by two inches and you get to about 100 paper clips per element. So again, vertical element, one quarter wavelength, but we're gonna need radials as well. And those radials would need to be one quarter wave or matching whatever the vertical is, just to make it easy. So I'll make two, maybe three, depending on how fast it goes. I've got Ben here to help me out. Uh, so a little arts and crafts time. We're gonna put some uh, linked paper clips together here. Have you ever linked paper clips before? I don't know if I have. Yeah, so I'll show you how, I'll get you started. You take uh, take your paper clips, right? So this is how I do it. I just take this and go like that. Cool. And then you take the next one and you go. The same thing. Yeah, but right. you gotta get um, a link going. So you do it like this and you just keep growing the link. Right, so you take the end here, take the end here and put it like that. Yeah. Can you try it? Yeah. All right. I'll work on my own here. We need about a hundred linked up paper clips. Okay. So again, all I'm doing is just taking the, the new one and the inner, <laughs> the inner loop, uh, just push it through. That's all you do. I, I don't think I'm really teaching anybody <laughs> anything on this. Everybody should know how to do this already. How's it going? Oh, kind of. Here, no, we got to fix it. So you see how it's, you're in the inner loop? You gotta be on the outer loop. So hold it like this, hold it like that. Then hold it like this, okay? Now go like that, push it through. There you go. Now this is the new one. You hold that, you get a new paper clip. And you got it. Now move that one over here, get a new paper clip. That's it. You got it. Now just keep keep doing that until you got over 100 or about. These boxes are 100. So pretty much when I get to the end of a box, I know I'll have a link that's about long enough. Makes it pretty easy if you do everything based off of the length of the uh, the paper clips. Should make it go pretty quickly. You know, I'll tell you, a lot of the times when I do these uh, videos on making antennas, I am winging it. <laughs> I don't have much of a plan. The step one was, uh, buy lots of staples and I figured I, I didn't even do the math on the sta or not staples paper clips I didn't even do the math on how many paper clips I actually needed for this project 
if I knew that I only needed a hundred for the radiating element, I probably would have only got a three pack or a four pack, but instead I got an eight pack. No, sorry, a 10 pack of, so I have a thousand staples. All right, why do I keep saving staples? Paper clips. I have a thousand paper clips. So school's starting for you tomorrow, so you have more paper clips than you, you'll ever need. A thousand is serious. That's a serious amount of paper clips. Oh, this one, look, it already came hooked up. That makes my life easier. I think what I'll do is I will get one, ver obviously the vertical hooked up, and then we'll try it with one radial, and we'll see how we do. And, and for this, uh, I'm just gonna start out using FT8. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him do whatever he wants. Ben's doing a great job, keep it up, Ben. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna, I don't know what this is gonna look like on a tuner. I don't know what this is gonna look like oh in God. any capacity. Oh what the? Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Oh, there we go, there we go, you're okay. Are we testing the electrical frequency? We are gonna test the frequency, yes. When you connect metal to other metal and with electronics, it, send a frequency wave too. You can send a frequency through yeah. pieces yeah. of metal, but uh, That's metal what itself. That's it was like in my kit. Oh, your kit, the, the snap circuits that you built. Yeah, Yes. with the spoon. With a spoon? Oh, you used the spoon to jump the connection and, and close yeah. the circuit. Yes, that is true, you did that. Okay, so there's one. So there's one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and help Ben on his, the remaining part of his, and, uh, oh, and then we'll try and assemble this thing. So where's the end of your chain? Here it is. All right, I'll meet you at the end here. We're going to try first with the stabby mast. I don't know how successful this is going to be. I did a video on this as well. You can pack this in a backpack or whatever. Uh, just a PVC pipe. This is a spike for, I don't know, whatever. And it goes, this is a little broken, but I'll, I'll make it work. Let's see what's above us. Oh, there's a yellow jacket. All right, so the very tip of this will probably accept a, uh, a paper clip. Again, I don't know how this is going to go. Okay, I'll be able to build off of that. We'll get you there though, don't worry. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna take the leg here, add it right to the top. The, the problem, I, I saw this coming, it's just very uh, naughty. Oh no, we lost a, a link. Okay, you can do as many as you like and you don't have to do any more than that. What happened here? Oh, I'm so sweaty. I'm so sweaty. Why are all my links disconnected? That's why I was the fastest, because I didn't do a very good job. Is this Ben's? I think this might be Ben's. All right. Now, got it. So the bottom here. Now let's hoist it up. Oh, what's happened here? I don't know. Ben, I think this is yours. Okay. Okay, here we go. It's so hot. Don't hit my camera, please. Here we go. We're raising up the antenna. Uh oh, we lost a, we lost one. Oh, we lost another one. Uh oh. We're losing everything. All right. <laughs> this might not be the best place for this. Nah, you can hold it, but that's not a, a good solution for a long term. Oh, careful. All right, I cheesed it a little bit. <laughs> I went and got a, uh, a metal tripod here, and I'm just going to use my plastic wire wrap to secure it. Now, obviously the metal in the tripod is going to cause a bit of an issue, so I'm going to use the, the weight of the antenna and the coax to kind of pull it away. All right, we're walking out. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, stop. I changed my mind a little bit. We're gonna connect the radial. Okay, go ahead and walk a little bit more. Keep going. Stop. Stop. 
D don't move. That ought to do it. Let me get my coax. I want to get back in the shade. I'm so sweaty. Okay, we've got our coax connected. I think that'll work perfectly, Ben. Okay. You can come on back. Well, that's a thing, a thing we've done. I didn't need to use the zip ties. I guess I could have, but okay. So I pulled the ties out of my admin pouch for my tactical trash can. Ugh, here is my tactical trash can. We're obviously going to be using the G90 out of that. And I'll be using the battery and we'll use the interface cables. And I think that's all I need out of here for right now. Out of curiosity, I will connect the charge controller just to connect to the battery. Okay, Ben. You got the battery. No, that's the charge controller. Okay, I'll hold the charge controller. So we're gonna do a simple test here. Should I press power? No, no, it's not connected to anything. All right, so Ben, look, we, we're gonna connect the antenna to the back oh, of the radio. Dad. The coax, this cable, this wire, is what we connected to the staple antenna that you made. A staple, paperclip, paperclip antenna. All right. So now we'll connect the battery to the charge controller. Charge. So see it lights up. Yeah. It's got power. Don't do anything yet. Well, we got to get the power from the charge controller to the radio. So we're going to use this wire. Hmm. We're putting it in here. Nope. I'll show you. That's the speaker. Oh my god. I was looking at the wrong place. Yeah. It was All right. Speaker. So we're going to connect it to load one. I'm going to get it out of the way. All right. So Ben, here's what I want you to do. I want you to push that bat button right there. That's power. Hold it. Hold it down for a second. Okay. Let go. Yep. Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I leave it disconnected on the, the trolley. The tray that it sits on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't. I could have done it. Okay, you could have done it? Okay, go ahead. Hold it down. The button. Let go. <laughs> All right, so we got to get it down into... I got to get... We are listening to FT8 right now. Uh, let's do a... Test of the antenna. Wow, Ben. It's 1.5 to 1. <laughs> That's crazy. Here, look, look, let me take a picture. So we, we have achieved a 1.5 to 1 uh, match uh, to, our, to our G90 using, it's uh, actually a little bit better than that. Um, actually 1.4, 1.4 to 1. 1. 1.3 now, wow. Uh, yeah, <laughs> using paper clips to the back of the G90 here. So I'm gonna, oop, I touch it and it freaks out. Yeah, anyway, let me get out of that. That's pretty awesome. It is. Um, let's tune it and see what happens. Fast, really fast tune. That's so weird. It's like, a, oh wow, that's cool. It's like it's a, the wind when it blows it because the links are not, they're not, they're just touching. They're not like electrically bonded. So any little wind will, will cause it to uh, like shuffle. And lots of FT8, uh, so I'm not gonna tempt fate. We're just gonna hook this up to do FT8 right now. <laughs> All right, we got FO rig connected. There we go. All right, negative four. Oh, I realized I'm not even, uh, I'm not even adjusting the, the power output. I just went straight 20 out. I'm not even, uh, I, haven't, I haven't changed that. I probably shouldn't have done that, but uh, it, it seems to be okay. We're not changing the SWR at all. Uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm guessing um, just from the, the, the poor electrical connections, sometimes it's shorting the antenna and opening it and shorting it. And so we could probably see the finite movements. Yeah, so now it's up to two SWR. So we haven't done anything. Nothing's changed um, on the antenna, but just from the way it's hanging, you know, there's too many variables that you're not going to get a, a, a perfect match because, of again, they're, they're not electrically 
solid. They're not like soldered together. So any change with the wind or whatever could cause the stray RF to come back down. Yeah, see now it's stuck at two SWR. Uh, uh, yeah. My best bet is probably not calling CQ. It's probably gonna be in uh, trying to pick up a really strong station. This is a negative one WV8DX. They're not calling DX, but they got DX in the name. I hope they'll hear me and take my call. Uh, I'm, I'm trying not to get the, the RF burn anymore either. You, you can see it hopefully um, on the video. There it is. Ooh, I just got bit. Ooh. Uh, I, my palm, <laughs> my palm touched the, the metal handle here and I, I got a bit of a bite, an RF bite. This is not a good antenna, guys. Don't don't do this. This is not a <laughs> this is not a workable option. Please don't do this. I got a bit of tension here on the radial. Let's see what that does. By the way, that drastically changed the receive. Uh, so whatever, I don't know. Yeah, this is uh, spiky, angry RF. <laughs> don't don't do this. <laughs> Mommy, the radio sharp again. Oh, that brought the SWR down. It's back down to 1.5, 1, 1 but it, it goes up to two. So it's, it's varying with just the subtle waving back and forth. Yeah, I, again, every time I tune it, it's like it's a new antenna. Ooh, yeah, wow, that builds up. If you leave your hand on it, it, it builds up. This is probably not good for anything. We're, this is. <laughs> I'm probably doing damage to the radio and my laptop. The good news is I am getting out. We can see this is, I'm getting all the way up to Canada for my location, which is great. I'm getting as far as uh, Michigan, past Michigan. I'm actually into Toronto area, so New York area. I'm hitting Virginia. My signals are making it, but let's, let's check with the, I'm staying well away from the radio. <laughs> This point, I don't want to get bit anymore. Oh, we're we're getting somebody. W7, okay. Um, he's got me at a negative 15, and I have him at a negative um, a neg or plus two. So he must be aiming at me. Let's make sure I got the log open here, so he can log it. Sounds great now. Lots of signals. Oh no. Maybe I need to lean back again. Don't jinx it. Stay out of the way, Josh. R73. Holy smokes. This is not a good antenna. And he's back to it. Okay, so he got he got it. We we made it. We we made a successful contact. In no way do I recommend this antenna. Uh, this is not something you should do. <laughs> this is not a good antenna. Of all the antennas I've built so far, this is the one that is the most dangerous because you can actually get an RF uh, kind of bite from it. And, and w again, what's happening is, and I'm sure somebody can probably comment, but I'm guessing that there's some kind of effect that because we don't have a positive coupling between these links, like some kind of solder or something like that to make them electrically sound, that RF passing through it kind of bounces between the locations. I'm thinking in my head something along the lines of the Leiden frost effect where a hot pan when you put water on it the bounce the, the droplets kind of bounce around again I have, I have no backing for this but I have a feeling that the RF jumping from link to link to link all the way up is is too chaotic it, it's not effective and a lot of it's coming back down and back into the the transceiver so don't do this don't do this antenna but it, as always it's fun to try out these things I hope you enjoyed this video again I am Josh KI6NAZ I've done a couple other videos on how to antenna or will it antenna. And obviously I have a little kit that I talked about what I like to bring with me into the field in case I need to make an antenna from scratch. Uh, if you enjoyed this again, give me a thumbs up. If you have not already, please subscribe because I do live stream every Saturday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you later. See ya.